Andy, that feels like a big three points. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's it's a very difficult place to come, um, and we knew what we were getting, getting ourselves in for. We knew we know they're a good side. And um, they gave us a difficult game last time we played them up in um, our own place with the one-one. So we knew we knew exactly what we were coming down to, um, and we we're delighted to get away with the three points. That first half in particular, we're really strong. We win one nil up. Probably deserve to be maybe two or three. Yeah, um, no, we, I don't think we started particularly well. Um, but look, as the game settled down after the first probably five ten minutes, I think we controlled the game definitely in the first half. Um, and as you said, I think we should have uh, probably put away another couple of chances and probably went in more comfortably in the first half. Um, but look, we were happy. Obviously, Mark got a got a nice screaming screamer of a goal. Um, but look, we probably, if we put away another couple of chances like Evan Caffrey's, Griff's chance as well, you know, um, then we go in more comfortable. But look, it wasn't to be. But we held on it. We held out for three points, and that's the most important thing. Goes in in slow motion, but they all count. Hey, that's it. Look. He's ranting and raving about it. He's looking for gold bonuses. He's looking for, you know what I mean. Uh, he's looking for the Puskas award and everything for that. But we look, we look forward to that. We we'll see what, uh, we we'll see what he has to say when he gets back to the house. Did he get his million quid after fine last week? Um, I'm not too sure, but look, if we if we continue winning, <laughs> we'll we'll uh, we'll hunt down um, we'll hunt down the owner. We we'll try to get that million quid off. It's a big one from a psychological point of view, just to, to stay in that race for Europe. Four points behind Bowes now, both the dark and golden. Yeah, look, it's it's as you say, it's tight up there. You know what I mean? Cut, you get a couple of results, um, and you can you can move places fairly quickly. As you said, we're uh, we're just gonna gone past Dundalk now, which is probably obviously massive uh, for us. And you know, look, three points. We have to roll into next week, and we have to back it up. And that's that's what good good teams do is back it up and keep backing it up. And you know what I mean? We can go up the table then and see see where it, where it leads us at the end of the season. A bit of controversy and drama around the penalty. It probably gives Sligo a bit of belief they can hold him out of the game. As a defender, you must be delighted that how well you and your defensive partners cover. Yeah, look, if we, to be fair, I think Connor obviously pulled off uh, he pulled off a good save at the end of the. First half, and then I think there was one later on as well. But um, other than that, I don't think they really, really threatened us that much. Um, after the penalty was missed, I was kind of, oh, here we go. You know what I mean? They were obviously going to pile pressure on us. Obviously, when the second goal goes in late on, it's kind of a little bit more of a comfort, uh, comfort kind of that two goal lead, you know. But when we missed, I was thinking we we're in for a hell of a few minutes here. But look, we held out and we got the three points, and deservedly so. Last time we were here, obviously we won 3 0, but the manager said he wanted to see a, a better footballing performance. He said in his post match, he, he felt he got that. Were you happy with the kind of the amount of chances created and how solid we were as well? Yeah, I think it's a completely different uh, performance to, to the one that we came down here and won 3 0. And because I don't think we, we particularly play well that night, uh, we just got obviously three. Jack was unbelievable that night and got a hat trick. Um, but I think tonight we can we show composure on the ball, we passed the ball really well and we played out from the back really well at times, you know. Um, again it's a difficult place to go, you have to play the conditions, you have to play, you have to realise who you're coming up against as well. So it's a we're coming up against a good team and I think we played very well tonight. How's your body feeling? Because you had a bit of an injury setback, got back in the team then? Yeah, look, I feel great at the minute, you know what I mean? So uh, hopefully the, the few niggles that I've, I've been getting probably in a couple of months ago, hopefully they've stayed away and, you know what I mean, hopefully I can kick on now for the rest of the season without injuries, but, you know what I mean, never say never. Yeah. <laughs> Big cheer off the bench when Brian McManus and Matty Smith come on, you must be delighted to see both of them back in action. Ah, it's unbelievable, uh, especially Matty, obviously Matty's been out for a long time. Uh, I was delighted to see Matty, uh, even during, during the week in training and that. It's, I was, I was just t telling him, obviously I've played with Matty before, before I came here and I've been good mates with Matty, so I was delighted for him and it's a big boost for him to get him back because he's a massive player for this team, massive player for this club and you know, it's, it, coming into the business end of the season he's an unbelievable player to get back, it's like a brand new yeah. signing again. Probably doesn't get enough credit for his work rate, there was one go bust and run where he just blows the player down, the look of fear in the players Matty's been Yeah, yeah, look that's Matty in a nutshell, Matty will never give up, Matty has a heart of gold, you know what I mean, he'll work and work until he can't work no more, you know what I mean, and that's, that's the Matty Smith that we all rave about, that's the Matty Smith that we love, you know what I mean, and Again, he's got quality behind all that hard work, you know, and it, credit goes to him because, you know what I mean, not many players have that willingness to run after dead, dead beat balls, you know, and it just it makes our lives easier when, when he's on the pitch. There must be a huge amount of confidence to take from that into this next game, which is going to be massive. Yeah, look, it's, again, it's, we're playing Pats obviously next week. We need to just come down here and get the win, you know what I mean? Get the win and get out of there. Uh, because again, it's a difficult place to come, very difficult place to come. You know, for years I've been coming down here and I've never kind of 
gotten easy results. You know what I mean? You never come down here and get an easy result. So it's a great win. Obviously going into next week. Next week's a massive game. You know what I mean for both clubs. Um, so it, look, it's set up nicely for next week, and hopefully we can go and show um, show what we're capable of doing again. Thanks, Benny. Safe travels. Cheers. Thank you.